Hi, it's Irene. At the end of the slideshow, I'll explain a little bit about uh, the process of making the monotypes. Enjoy the show and thanks for watching. To explain a little bit about the process of making a monotype. I, I painted them spontaneously with oil paint upon a metal plate and um, I often used um, those white cotton gloves that archaeologists and people touching old objects use. Yeah. Gloves were good at like subtracting paint once I put it on the plate and moving it around and of course, I use brushes too. And usually they have to be painted within eight hours or the paint will dry. And meanwhile, I um, dampened a sheet of archival art paper and then that's matted dry. And then the dampened sheet is carefully put over the metal plate and then it's run through a press and you're always hoping you got the right pressure from previous experience. And once it's run through, you can lift up the edge and see how much of the paint came off. If it didn't look like you got a very good print, you can run it through the press um, at a, a greater pressure. Usually you get one print and that's why it's called a monotype. But sometimes you're lucky and you get two prints and sometimes the second print is more vivid and beautiful than the first print because what happens when you paint the monotype if you have any layering to your paint then that paint that's on top is now flipped on to the bottom of the paper so your your mind has to work a little bit differently when you're or else you work very thinly one or the other to try and get an image that you think is going to really make a print. Thank you. Please uh, like if you like and make some comments. I appreciate it and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.